Hi, this is Jacob with MarketingPlaybook.co, and today we're going to be covering GDN Quality Score, a look at relative click-through rate. Now I'm quickly going to take a step back here and ask the question, does AdWords actually have a quality score for display? Because there is no quality score, that, score that's technically shown anywhere within the AdWords display interface. So on that aspect, no, there isn't a quality score, at least one that is not shown. Now they will say there's a hidden quality score, and this is what a lot of experts out there are going to tell you, and I honestly can't tell you whether there is or is not. If you ask the uh, Google reps, they'll constantly say yes, there is. And the honest answer is there, there are metrics that allow you to rank better and over your competitor and allow you to pay less. Now if that's called quality score then yes AdWords display does have a quality score and the only real metric you need to focus on to actually get a lower CPC in my experience is going to be the relative click-through rate. If you're able to get your relative click-through rate up and above average then uh, you should outperform your competition and ultimately uh, gain uh, more display impression shares as well as a lower cost per click. Now I'd like to say that happens uh, every time but but it doesn't right but uh, that's that's the dream and that is the goal. So next up would be, well, what is relative click-through rate? And we're going to see right here that I added the column for a relative click-through rate. And here for the topic keyword, we're going to have a relative click-through rate of 1.4x. And then this other ad group called Sweet Page, we have 1.2x and 1x. And basically, a relative click-through rate is how your ad performs compared to other ads on the same or similar placements. So a 1x means that this ad and the ads within this ad group are performing on par with other ads in the ad group. This means 1.2 means I'm performing 1.2 times better than other ads in the ad group. And same with a relative click-through rate of 1.4x means I'm performing slightly better than, uh, well, quite a bit better than other ads on that same placement. And you'll notice if you have campaigns that are just doing remarketing your relative CTR is going to be tend to be t a lot higher than than others out there, and that's because you're you're highly focused on a set at on um, on a set audience, which means you should have a higher relative click through rate because your audience should be far more interested than the average person out there. So in this example here, we have advertiser A, B, and C, and let's go ahead and run some quick numbers here. So advertiser A had 10,000 impressions with 50, 50 clicks for a CTR of 0.5%. Advertiser B, same thing, but 100 clicks. And advertiser C had 75 clicks. So 1% and 0.75%. The relative click-through rate, if these were all on the same placements, and keep in mind these are different advertisers, then the relative, the average of everything would be 75 clicks per 10,000 impressions. Because if we look at this, uh, this would be 75, 150, you add that all together, you get 75 clicks. So this individual right here is performing uh, about 30% worse, right? So their relative click-through rate would be something like 0.7x. And this individual B is um, performing better at 100 clicks instead of 75, so they're about 1.3x. And then advertiser C is going to be at 1x because they are uh, in line with the, the average of everybody there. Now, if we were to take this a step further and kind of expand it out a bit, if we look at this, uh, all these three advertisers all had 10,000 impressions. Now, what it cost this individual, if it, say, it cost them, uh, if they were at 50 cents a click, that would put them at uh, 10,000 impressions, 50 cents a click, at uh, $25 in spend. So we do 25 in spend, which equals out to a 2.5 CPM cost per thousand. So they're at a 2.5 CPM. Now, AdWords is going to charge you it works very very similar at, on the display as it is the search end and now there is more of a mystery there exactly how individuals are charged and there's many factors that go into play so this is not exact but this is how focusing on a higher relative click-through rate will get you 
ultimately a lower cost per click and that's because you're able to produce far more of a value for AdWords uh, because you're getting far more clicks which ultimately makes a publisher and AdWords more money and AdWords rewards you because they say hey your image ads or your ads must be more relevant to the end users so if this individual was paying let's say 50 cents a click he would have paid fifty dollars which would have given him a five dollar CPM now is AdWords actually going to charge you that five dollar CPM well if all things being equal then no they're not they're going to charge you slightly above this other individual think of this person as in the number two slot or possibly even in the number three spot so depending upon how much competition is out there for that placement and for that ad position uh, you could ultimately end up paying far less than what other people are paying per click by having a higher relative click-through rate by having your ad be more relevant to end users and cutting out bad placements that are that are taking a whole lot of impression shares away from you now to drive the point home and I kind of already covered this a little bit but it's good to touch base again on it your you have your click-through rate and so if we look at this my click-through rate is 0.79 here we'll just say a uh, 0.8 percent and here it's 0.4 percent well I would think that well if it's 0.8 percent here and 0.4 percent here that my click-through rate here is really really bad and my in my image ads and my ads must be really bad in this ad group because this other one's performing so much better but in the grand scheme of things no it really isn't uh, it's just the way that the targeting is the way the keywords are uh, within this ad group because we look and it says that I'm average so across other advertisers I'm doing just as well as other as the average individual out there so I'm no worse than than other individuals uh, which is great to know one thing I have definitely noticed too is as you if you have that higher relative click-through rate you definitely are going to get more of that impression share so if you're profitable in your campaign then you definitely want to improve your relative click-through rate because ultimately that's going to help get you more impressions on the Google Display Network last thing we're going to cover is the relative click-through rate is only going to show up inside the ad groups currently so on the ad group level I'm under campaigns and then I have all my ad groups here well what we can do is we can now go under columns and then go ahead and hit modify columns and then we're going to go to competitive metrics under the competitive metrics we have the relative click-through rate here we're going to go ahead and add it in on over and once it's added over we can go ahead and we can move this around to anywhere we want within here when you first add it, it should be at the bottom and you just move it around to wherever you want and scroll down and go ahead and hit apply and it should be added in there now if you're just looking at your data for one day chances are the relative click-through rate won't show up what you're going to want to do there is actually show for the last seven days or for the last month depending upon the volume that you have inside the campaign uh, once you have enough volume in there uh, the relative click-through rate should start showing up and hopefully it's a 1x or above and that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free and ask this video here is about the 50th video we've done it's the 10th video in our Google Display training course that we've put together on marketingplaybook.co under the PPC section go ahead and click on that and then inside the AdWords guides that's where you're going to find the written guide we also have it linked below and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel here to get notified of new videos and live hangouts Q&A hangout sessions that we do we also have a newsletter that we put out over on marketingplaybook.co so you can go ahead and follow us there too as well again my name is Jacob Erdy with marketingplaybook.co and take care